Lord, the giver of new life, awaken our hearts to the promise of new life you grant us, that we may embrace your gift and freely share it with others. Amen. Please be seated. A few months ago, I guess it was in a, in a pharmacy or in a grocery store, I cannot remember. I heard a person talking about, it was in November, talking about the day of the turkey. And I think, well, it's not the day of the turkey, it's Thanksgiving Day. And we usually refer to Thanksgiving Day as the day of the turkey. Some people refer to the day, the days of the turkey. So the same happened with today's celebration. Many people say the day of the bunny, but it is, the, it is not the day of the bunny. It is the day of Christ resurrected. So may I remind you that the Resurrection Sunday is not about Easter bunnies. It's not about Easter eggs or the giving or exchange of gifts. It is about celebrating the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead on the first Resurrection Sunday. While it is true that bunnies are traditionally considered a symbol of fertility and abundant life, and we are going to have Easter egg hunts after the service for kids, I'm sure. But as Christians, we profess Jesus and not the rabbit as the source of eternal life. With that in mind, this morning, let us journey back to that first resurrection Sunday morning. Let us look on the events at the tomb of Jesus that day and see what happened and what it means for you and for me. C.O.S. family, that morning at the tomb, when Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene and called her by, by name, imagine, just imagine, the joy she experienced when she turned to him and cried out, in her tongue, Raboni, which means teacher. She recognized that he had risen, and that realization put an end to all of the confusion that she and the other apostles were experiencing. Therefore, remembering the resurrection of Jesus that first day of the week, that first announcement that he is no longer in the tomb must be a reason for a great joy to us also. Proclaiming that Christ has risen is the same as proclaiming that the victory of Christ is our victory. That the life of Christ is now our life. That if Christ has defeated death, we will also win. My dear brothers and sisters, during Holy Week, and especially on Good Friday, we remember the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. And with his death, hope and faith will also have been buried. If we had not learned from Jesus that the death is not the end of the way. The death, for us as Christians, death is the beginning of everlasting joy. Death is the beginning of everlasting life and everlasting communion with God. With his resurrection, Christ gives us back hope. And hope drives out fear. 
It makes us long to be with Christ in a world where there is no suffering, no more pain, no more loss. Knowing that the death is not the end also makes us long for something else. It makes us long to share our hope with others. As the Apostle Paul says in his letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 14, and if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. Except that Christ has risen. A few days ago, I was reading an article that mentioned that Jesus and his message will no longer be relevant for the new generations. And that the Christian message will have little meaning in the future. Nonetheless, we can be probably assured that when we have to face death, our Christian faith is as relevant as ever. Tell me, who or what else can give us any security when faced with death? Who or what else can offer us any hope when death comes close? Who can make any sense out of what appears to us to be senseless ways of life? Who else can give us the sense of hope and security? Who else can comfort us when pain, doubt, and abandonment strike our hearts with such ferocity? The answer is only the risen Jesus, only Him. Therefore, Church of our Savior, I want to finish with these words of Dr. Martin Luther King. We have been buried in numerous graves. The grave of economic insecurity. The grave of exploitation. The grave of oppression. We have watched justice trample over and truth crucified. But I am here to tell you this morning, Easter reminds us that it won't be like that all the way. It reminds us that God has a light that can shine through all of the darkness. Amen.